Okay. So I want to set objective. So this value, sum of the errors, to be minimum, I want to get the minimum possible sum of the errors by changing the initial decline rate. So my 10% per year, it's still wrong. Okay, it's still wrong. It's not the best. It's not good. It's not match. Okay, so I want to change that in such a way that I will get the minimum sum of the errors. Okay, so I just click solve. Okay, so that's divergent issue. Okay, so let's let's give better initial guess. What about 20? Okay, so it's better now. Or maybe I can minimize this one, okay. And what about 25? A little bit better. Let me minimize this spot first so we get a better view. What about 35? Even better. So with this initial guess, Let's try again. Solve. Still divergent. I don't know what happened. So let's try 40. Now you see it's even smaller now, sum of the errors. Okay, so you can. You can try this approach manually, or you can also use numerical approach. I just want to use solver. So it's already OK, but select a solving method. Let's say simplex LP. Now it's not good. Evolutionary. It's not good as well. Anyway, maybe we can use manual approach 50. Now it's the sum of the years is 542. Now it's very, very, very small. What about 45 getting bitter, bigger, 51. Now it's even smaller, 52. Now it's, it's big. By the way, we can use absolute value. So it's like this. Apps. So we want to make sure that the error will be positive in value. Okay. All right. So let's. Let's try again. Use GRG nonlinear. Yeah, now it gives me 51% per year. So I think that's the best. Okay, that's the best computation. That's the best initial decline rate. So that's you see, let me make this plot bigger. Okay. So hopefully you get my point here. We can use the axis title again. It's flow rate, BOPD. Okay. And then now it's time t in months it's not okay all right okay so you see, we have actual flow rate, we have predicted flow rate, 
and you calculate the predicted flow rate using the DCA, the exponential DCA formula, and then you try to get the error, make sure it's absolute in value, okay? And you know that B equals to zero, and now you want to get the initial decline rate that will give you the minimum sum of the errors. You can do that manually, like I showed you before, and you can also get that using numerical approach. In my case, I use solver. Okay, so that's almost everything that I can show you. That's how we do exponential decline curve analysis. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next decline curve analysis videos. Thank you.